Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Now, why would we use the quadratic formula? We use the quadratic formula when factoring does not work. By the way, I did a video on factoring. I will leave that video down below in the description. Also, we use the quadratic formula when other factors of solving for x are not convenient, such as completing the square. Keep in mind that you can always use the quadratic formula for any quadratic equation. Okay, so now we see our equation. Our equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, so the quadratic formula, you can memorize it, uh, but I will also do another video on how to uh, prove the quadratic formula. So that will be in another video. I will leave that video down below in the description as well. Um, okay, so our quadratic formula is going to be x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to identify uh, what is our A, what is our B, and what is our C. Okay, so if we look at our equation here, we're going to say, we're going to identify our A, we're going to identify our B, and we're going to identify our C. Our A is 1. Why? Because anytime you see X by itself, it's understood to be 1. Okay, so our A is 1. Okay, because... Uh, x is the same as 1x, okay, just to keep that in mind. Okay, our b is 7 and our c is 11, okay? So now that we have identified our uh, a, b, and c, all we need to do is plug it into the formula. So we have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 11 all over 2 times 1, okay? So we just plugged in uh, the numbers for a, b, and c, okay? So now we have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 4 times 1 times 11 is 44, all over 2 times a, okay? So now we have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 44 is 5, all over, oh sorry, so A is 1, right? All over 2, okay? So we have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 5, all over 2. And so breaking that up, we have X is equal to negative 7 plus root 5 over 2. And we also have X is equal to negative 7 minus root 5 all over 2, okay? And that is your final answer okay so um we're going to do one more example just to make sure that you have it uh totally down packed okay so stay tuned for the next example okay so let's look at our second example here we have x squared plus 10x plus 4 is equal to zero and we want to solve this equation using the quadratic formula so i'm going to go ahead and write out the quadratic formula again x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we want to identify our a and we want to identify our b and our c. So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 10, and c is equal to a 4. So we're just going to plug that in. So we have x is equal to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 all over 2 times 1. So we're just going to finish computing. So we have x is equal to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 16 all over 2, which means we have x is equal to 10, negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 84 my, um, all over 2. Okay, so now I'm assuming that you already know how to simplify the square root. That will be in another video, so uh, I'm not going to go into detail, so I'm just going to come out to the side and simplify it. So uh, we 
we uh, eight four factors into two and forty two, and forty two factors into two and twenty one. We pull out the two and keep the twenty one under the square root because we have a perfect square. So I'm going to say x is equal to negative ten plus or minus two root twenty one all over two. Okay, so now I'm going to erase this and come out to the side. Okay, so I'm going to bring it out to the side here. So we have x is equal to negative 10 plus 2 root 21 all over 2. And we also have that x is equal to negative 10 minus 2 root 21 all over 2. And let's do this one first. We have x is equal to negative 10 over 2 plus 2 root 21 over 2. Okay, this can simplify some more. So negative 10 over 2 is a negative 5. And then the 2's cancel here, so we're left with just 1. So we have plus root 21. That's our first answer. Now let's look at this problem. We have x is equal to negative 10 minus uh, 2 root 21. And we're going to break it up, put it under 2. So we have x is equal to, again, negative 10 divided by 2 is a negative 5. And our 2's cancel here. So we're left with 1, and we have minus root 21. So that is our second answer.